Feline researcher Jennifer Korn carefully removes a sedated bobcat from a live trap on the Uturia Ranch just north of Raymondville. Biologists with the Caesar Clayburg Wildlife Research Institute at Texas A&M Kingsville are studying both bobcats and endangered ocelots on the Willacy County Ranch. Yeah, we have a bobcat study here in Willacy County to, see, to look at the competition of, of bobcats uh, with ocelots. Bobcats are common throughout Texas and occur in virtually every county in the state, but there are estimated to be no more than 80 ocelots remaining in the thick brush of deep south Texas. While their range overlaps, ocelots depend on extremely dense thickets of brush, and bobcats are more adaptable, utilizing a variety of habitats. We, we found that ocelots and bobcats can coexist uh, pretty well together, and so far we haven't found major competition between the two cat species. Researchers have captured two bobcats this day and will affix GPS tracking collars to both. While the first has a normal, mostly solid brownish coat pattern, the second bobcat's fur resembles an ocelot's. Most bobcats have a, a pretty solid brown coat pattern and then some of them have black spots or even circles on, the, on their coats, but about one out of every ten seem to have spots very similar to ocelot's, rosettes that, that uh, are very diffi difficult to distinguish from ocelots. While there is no evidence of interbreeding between bobcats and ocelots, it is fascinating how striking the similarities are in the coats of some 10% of bobcats to the rare ocelots. With your Nature Report, I'm Richard Moore.